I am sitting here surrounded by all of my bike stuff. I don't even think you can see it all, but we're going to kind of go through what I have. Some people have asked, what are you taking with you on this ridiculous journey? And today, I just got rid of all my camping stuff. Whoa, why would you do that? Uh, I wrote a blog post about it, but mostly the answer is it's freaking heavy and I was happy to get rid of the extra weight. So I'm gonna kinda like go through all my stuff on camera, A, so that you can see what I have with me, and B, so I can sort of be like, do I need this anymore? Cause things are heavy and I'm a little sick of going up mountains with like so much weight. I have like 35 pounds worth of stuff. At least that's what I had when I left Rhode Island. I've since like, gotten a few more things and gotten rid of a couple things, so I don't know exactly how much I have now, but the camping stuff was like eight pounds worth of crap, so that's gone. Yay. We'll start with clothes. Bike clothes. This is a riding shirt. This is merino wool, which is great because uh, I've been riding in this for a few days and it doesn't smell awful. I mean, I wouldn't wear it to a party, but it smells okay. Probably the most important article of clothing I have are these bike shorts. So these are padded. They have a nice seat for your butt. And I can tell you right now that my butt does not hurt in these, which is some kind of miracle of science. It took me like a day to get used to them because it does feel like at first like you just have a giant diaper wedged up between your legs. But I got used to it. And now it's like my favorite thing I own. Over those, I wear regular athletic shorts because I'm not quite ready to fully embrace that very tight material in public. <laughs> I have some normal clothes. I have two t-shirts, both made by my sister, Mary. This one says, These Bad Larrys, which, if you don't know, is a reference to my silly golf videos. And the other one is a Bill and Ted reference. So if you're into that. And these are just clothes that I wear when I'm done riding for the day. Two pairs of underwear that I'm not going to show you because you don't need to see that. And I have two pairs of shorts that are just like what I'm wearing. I have three pairs of, again, merino wool socks. Don't really smell that bad. What's up with that? It's like magic. One sweatshirt that, oddly enough, has come in handy and I'm going to keep because of all the places that are obsessed with air conditioning everywhere. It's not even a technically, officially summer at the time I'm recording this. And places are just blasting AC, and so it's nice to have that, especially after a long day of riding, and I'm like sweating and stuff. A showers pass waterproof jacket. Bam. Uh, these got like little strappies on them. You can zip it up. You can also open these like air vents on it in case you get too warm. But I wore this, it's my third day riding, and it was just raining in my face for four straight hours, and this part was great. Like, all up here didn't get wet. I also use it to like wrap my laptop as like an extra layer of waterproofing. So I'm definitely gonna keep this. Uh, the pants though, I don't know about. And they say waterproof, but I my legs are soaked. So I think this one, gone. Don't need it anymore. So work-related stuff. This is gonna seem weird, because I'm complaining about weight. I have two different computers with me. And hear me out on this. So I have, uh, I have this Chromebook, which I like, because it does this, and I can use it as a tablet, or I can use it as a computer. What I really use this for is this is 99% my goofing off Facebook or Twitter or watch YouTube videos. So this is my, hey world, I will talk to you while I'm on this device. And this giant like five pound thing, if you add this with this stupidly bulky power cord that comes with it, this is the work laptop. This is where I do most of my writing where I do video editing. It's kind of a beast, which is why I got it. I'm gonna keep this for now, but I don't know if you've noticed, this is probably gonna be the first video I even put up. But so at home, what I do is I have like separate spaces in my apartment are for separate things. Like I have specifically a couch that I will sit on and read on. And like I read and like eat food. That 
that's what that spot's for. And I have a laptop that I goof off on, and I have a desktop that I do work type stuff on, and those are in different rooms in different places. And if I don't have that, if I try to do that all on the same computer, it's not segregated enough for me, and I like lose time and I lose days. And so for now, I'm gonna keep both of these things. I have this microphone, but the windscreen can fuck off. We're not gonna use it. People will have to deal with subpar quality audio for me because I am the worst. Uh, other audio visual stuff. Memory cards, batteries for the camera, GoPro batteries in this bag. Surprise, it's a GoPro. So I do outside filming on the GoPro. This is like usually attached to the bike or to my wrist or to my head. I'll show you that stuff in a minute. And I do inside filming on my Sony RX105. That's what it is. Tripod. This is the secondary tripod. I'm on the first tripod right now. You're like, why do you need two tripods? That's some weight you could cut. Because uh, when I do interviews, I do both the GoPro and the Sony, so I can have different kind of cuts, and so this will be mounted off to the side somewhere. I have all these batteries for my mouse. I probably don't need this many, so I'll just get rid of three of them. This is important. This is a little card reader. This will read the SD cards. Cool. Yeah, this is a thumb drive. Mostly just backup stuff. Cleaning cloth. GoPro stuff. Chest mount. Get all your cool shots while you're riding. GoPro head mount. Glows on my face. GoPro wrist mount. This thing's good. It's really useful to get shots when I'm riding the bike like this. The GoPro can I can point it at my face or I can turn around and point at other stuff. Probably use this one the most. Well, I was using the handlebar one the most, but I broke it. This is like an extension. Stop focusing on me. Focus on the thing. I can just put it on the mount like that. And then the GoPro can be different spots, and then a few other little random doodads that have to do with GoPro stuff, just so like, it can attach to different things. That stuff's all pretty necessary, sort of. Let's put that back in its bag. I have like little bags for certain things, so, like this is for the GoPro stuff. In the bag, in the bag. Don't put me in the bag, no! Oh no, please don't put me in the bag! I don't want to get in the bag, sir! I want to come out and play with my friends! In this week GoPro case is all of my like charging stuff. The phone thing, this awesome USB multi-charger that I just plug in the back into an outlet and then I can charge literally all my stuff. A charger for all of the Sony batteries. Kind of looks like a toaster and this charges the GoPro batteries. I also have various cords. Oh, and headphones. Little itty bitty headphones. Uh, these are great for obvious reasons. <laughs> I don't know why I'm explaining headphones to you. <laughs> it's like, hey, did you know you could make sound come from the source of the sound and just go straight to your ears? Because now you know, in case you didn't know that. I have this cable, which is a USB-C to regular USB converter. I've never used it in three weeks. The other electronics device I have that is a lifesaver is this Anchor charging brick. This is like a battery for all of my things when I'm lost and confused. Usually this charges my phone while I'm riding. I put this in my front handlebar bag and I just plug it into the phone and then I don't get lost for the day. Ooh, hygiene. Yeah, gotta stay clean. Oh man, I'm gonna dump it all out. Should I just dump it all out? Right. Oh my god, okay, so it was all in this bag, now it's not. Uh, okay. This is like an all-in-one body wash thing, and you know what? I'm not going to keep it anymore because of the aforementioned I'm not camping anymore. Got the razor, toothbrush and toothpaste, Tylenol, and Advil bottles. We're going to combine these. I originally started with Tylenol, and my aunt insisted that I take some Advil with me, so I did that, but now I can get rid of the extra space that that's occupying. Deodorant. This is in case I get broken. Band-aids. Charger for the shaver. What's that called? Not a shaver. The razor. Holy crap. Hair stuff. I probably don't need that, but I am vain. I got some Claritin 
tweezers. This stuff is really important. Uh, this helps also keep your bum safe. This thing, you rub it all on here. And you also rub some on your butt. Everyone knows that your butt hurts when you're riding a bike, but what you might not know is if you ride it for too long and you don't use this and you don't use a padded thing, so you can develop these things called uh, saddle sores. Like imagine how your butt hurts on a bike, but magnified and blistering and just like, no thank you. Got to have the sunscreen. I use this a lot. And so I actually keep this separate. This is in a bag right in front of me on the bike so I can grab it and remember to use it. The toenail clippers, which is important. If your toenails get too long riding all day, they jam up against your shoes and that just hurts. I do have peanut butter, which I am gonna keep because uh, I will just eat peanut butter. Yes, butter knife. Uh, I don't want to use like my good knife to spread stuff. Insect repellent. I'm on the fence about this. I'm going to keep it for now. But there might be cool stuff I can only see if I get off my bike and walk through like ticks to get it. So I'm going to keep this. If ticks didn't exist, I wouldn't keep this. Man, how heavy is this? Six ounces. What does that mean? Jesus. I don't know. I'll keep it for now. Game stuff. Okay. I have my board game bike notebook. I just like to have a physical notebook. I definitely have considered getting rid of this. Breaking this out during playtests, I like to write notes while I'm playtesting other people's games. So that way I don't forget like how I felt in a certain moment. And I definitely don't want to interrupt the game to give feedback because that's bad. If you do that, please stop doing that. I have a copy of a game that I co-designed with a student that I was mentoring. It's uh, just a riff on tic-tac-toe. It's an 18 card game. It's got Yomi in it. It's fun. I like it. So this is like a small game I can bring on the bike. A larger game that maybe I shouldn't have brought with me. It is a ton of cards. Um, and it is called Am I the One? It is a light cooperative game where everyone at the table has the same picture except maybe you. Using limited communication, you have to figure out if you're the one who has a different picture. And it's fun. It's just really heavy and maybe not good for a bike. I have played this on the trip, so it's not like I haven't used it at all, but it's a lot easier to do the 18 card thing. I might mail this back. We'll see. Two copies of Oh My Gods! This is Tim Blank's game. He is the president of Boston Game Makers Guild. Before this trip, I, for some reason, thought I would have all the room in the world on my bike, so I was like, hey man, I know you have a bunch of extra copies of this game. Do you want to just give me some and I'll pass them out to people as I take my trip? I managed to fit four on the bike. Uh, so far, I've given two out. I gave away one to the Manchester Public Library, uh, where Jennifer Bartlett has an awesome game program at that library. You should check it out. It's amazing. Um, and I gave another one to a board game cafe called Game Haven in York, Connecticut, where I ate a delicious cupcake. Uh, so I have two more, and they weigh, I don't know, like a pound and a half together. They got to go. I'm not going to get rid of them now, but I'm basically going to actively look for places to, to give these away in the next few days because I don't want more stuff on my bike anymore. I have a crushed box of three golf balls, three yellow golf balls. These are Larry's. I am pretty soon going to start doing the Larry thing again, so I brought these with me, although I need a Sharpie. Bike-specific things. Two water bottles. I probably need a third one. Uh, lube for my chain, a sweet multi-tool that has a bunch of different Allen wrench sizes on it. This is really important for uh, taking things on or off the bike and fixing any kind of problems. Like when I had my flat tire, I needed this to take the wheel off the bike so I could work on it. This is the tube that got flat. I was able to patch it, so this is my spare tube right now until I get to a bike shop and buy another tube. It's a little patch kit, tire levers. Without these, you are not getting your tire off the wheel, unless you have like fingernails made out of steel. Oh, yes, I love this thing. This is my Leatherman. Got the chomp chomps, regular knife, you got a little saw. The end of it is a hammer. Give it the old whack. There's a whistle. That's loud. You can only yell for so long, but you can whistle for quite a while by just blowing air into this. This thing's amazing. I really like this. Thanks, Pete. Ah! Yeah. Psh, psh, psh. This is the light that goes on my bike. I can make it flash. I can make it consistent. I can make it super bright. Super duper bright. This is incredibly useful. I don't ever plan on riding in the dark, but if I have to, I have this available to me. If I get stuck somewhere, 
It's also good to turn this on on bike paths because they're usually pretty shaded and dark and they help people see you and it's especially useful to turn on in tunnels. Bike gloves. I like these because they have these padded gel spots on them. Uh, so if you ride the bike for too long, your hands will go numb and these prevent that. Gotta wear your helmet, don't get broke. Bear spray. Not technically important, it just makes me feel better. Uh, Cause I'm scared of cat, so I have this. I have a bike lock, which is pretty heavy and I thought about getting rid of it. Here's the rationale. Like if someone stripped everything from my bike, but I still had my bike, I could still at least get to wherever I'm going for the night and then figure out what's gonna happen from there. I understand that a determined person can just like cut this off and take the bike. These could probably go together as like things that I have as security blankets, I guess. Face mask, phone, doubles as my wallet, which also is my GPS system. I have a clip on my bike that my phone goes onto, and I just have GPS all day long. I mean, I just gotta be a cool dude, right? Realistically, uh, these are prescription sunglasses. I brought them so I could see. Hmm. I think that's it. If there's anything I don't have that I should, tell me, I guess. If there's anything you think is like super extra and I should get rid of it, I probably agree with you, but for now, I'm keeping all this stuff, unless I threw it back there. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the road. Peace.